if you're not following me on Instagram, please do follow because we are uploading many behind the scene pictures and videos there. We will now discuss one more disease. It is a protozoan disease. It is called amoebiasis. The causative agent, it is a protozoan disease. The causative agent is Ant amoeba histolytica. Now, if you look at this name, then it tells you what exactly it is going to do. It is histolytica. Histo word is used for tissue and lysis word is used for breakdown. So this pathogen releases some chemicals which are going to act as histolysis. It spreads through direct oral contact. Spreads direct oral. What does it mean? It basically spreads when we eat something or drink something which is contaminated with fecal material. If we understand the life cycle of this, then this uh, mode of transmission will be clear. And house flies and cockroaches act as passive vectors or carriers. They are just going to carry the pathogen form from the fecal matter of the infected person to the food or water, which we consume. So the pathogen gets excreted in the form of a tetranucleate cyst. Excreted as tetra nucleate cyst and as the name tells us there are four nuclei and it is in the form of this cyst. So this cyst is present in the fecal matter of the infected person. Now when house flies they move from this uh, you know uh, fecal matter or dirty stuff to the food item. They passively carry these cysts to our food. So along with these flies, they reach our food and water. So if our food and water is contaminated with this fecal matter, then the cysts are there. And if we eat this kind of food and water that is orally, if we are taking it, then the cyst enters our body. As soon as the cyst enters, there is a nuclear division, one nuclear division followed by cytokinesis, followed by cytokinesis. That means now there were four nuclei. Now if these four nuclei divide, then we, we are going to get eight nuclei. And every nucleus gets surrounded by cytoplasm and a membrane and then the cyst ruptures. So this cyst ruptures. The cells which come out, they are called minuta. Minuta is the non-infective stage. It doesn't cause or non-pathogenic stage. It is small in size and non-pathogenic. These minuta, which are small, now they grow in our body. And when they grow, they change into the next stage, which is called the magma stage. And this magma stage, it secretes histo 
lysense. This pathogen, Entamoeba histolytica, it is found. Pathogen is found in large intestine and uh, a small part or uh, towards the end of small intestine. An end part of small intestine. That means most probably in the ileum region. It is duodenum, jejunum and ileum region. So some part of ileum region and large intestine. But the pathogen can also be found in liver, lungs and brain. And the most common place other than the intestine is liver and that is the place where we can find them most commonly. But most of the times we detect them in intestine, the large intestine and the small intestine. Now this histolysin, it starts to break down the tissue or the layers of intestine. It breaks down the lining of our gastrointestinal tract and if the lining is lost then the mucous membrane gets scrapped off and if mucous membrane gets scrapped off the tissue is getting scrapped off then there is blood loss also. So the symptom is Dysentery, diarrhea, abdominal cramps, and mucus and blood in stool, that is in the fecal matter. in the fecal matter. So these are the symptoms and it is treated by giving antibiotics. So how it spreads? It is direct from the infected food it goes into our body and orally when we are taking something through our mouth either food or water. Food or water which is contaminated with sewage or fecal matter. The reason is the pathogen is excreted out along with the fecal matter of the infected person. The cyst lies in that fecal matter. Unless and until there is an agency which is going to bring that cyst to our food or the water bodies are contaminated with sewage then only the cyst comes into food and water. It enters into our body, nuclear division, cytoplasmic division takes place, four nuclei change into eight, eight cells are formed, the cyst ruptures, minuta and magma. This magma is actually the pathogenic one. It is the one which is releasing these histolysins and which are causing damage to our elementary canal. And histolysins means they are going to break down the tissue. So mucous membrane, blood vessels, cells, they break off. It results into cramps. And because blood vessels are getting damaged, there will be blood loss in the fecal matter. It also results sometimes into ulcerations, ulcer formation. Because wherever there is damage to the tissue because of this chemical, then this will be uh, leading to ulcer and after some time these magma again will change into the cyst. So they release this and they are the ones which will change into the cyst and get excreted out. So this is Entamoeba histolytica and the name is given because Entamoeba it belongs to the same group where amoeba belongs that is protozoan. And histolytica term is given because it releases or secretes histolysis. Treatment using antibiotics. But 
profile axis is very important. We need to take care of the contamination part. We should be eating clean food, drinking clean water, which is not contaminated with this sewage. So proper uh, sanitization, uh, not eating the exposed food, these are the prophylactic things which we can keep in mind. In the next part, we will take few more diseases.